Hi, I'm Tommy from Viva Stories of the Island. Guys, I'm still going to make this the, the video I was planning to do today on Thursday. Okay, speaking of which, I might change the name. I might change the name back to my original idea for, for, for this show, for my theory. We're going like, not pun? Why? What was going to be called the rhythm? These are the stories of the island of Soto. But the reason why I said that, it also had nothing to do with with this video, guys. It had nothing to do with this video. You know, so you're saying, I might do that. You might be saying, uh, not fun. If you do that, you have to rename the from island short to Soto to Island Shore. If you do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe. 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 It's a big maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But anyway. Guys, like my fake Q&A videos? You get on with the freaking video. Why are you spending so much time? You know, like Bruce do. That guy that does Bruce do. Takes about him. You get on with the freaking story. Jeez, imaginary viewers. Okay, many people have asked what Star Wars up has happened been in my in, in this universe. Which is that they going to be the universe? I at least fixed the broken stuff. Which is that going to be the universe? Guys, in case you don't know, this universe is my head universe. So anything I have head cannon is in my u in this universe is my my, my head canon universe is basically this universe. Like where, like where underground earning got more seasons and stuff like that. Stuff like that. Okay, but anyway, historical stuff like the moon landing. It, it will happen. It will be a part of the show eventually. Like okay? the moon landing. People are asking me what historical stuff have and hasn't happened in my series. That's the topic of this video. Okay, first, let's go in order. The Civil War. Any of the wars that predate World War One have happened. But, but, speaking of war, war, guys, at the time I didn't know this when I was actually making season two, but I know that, okay, okay. But guys, you might be a bit sad to hear this, but when I was making that, I didn't know that Germany ended on a separate day. I thought both Japan, I thought that that both, I thought that Germany ended in at, at, at September of '45. But now that I've done more research into that topic, I now know that Germany ended in. But guys, please. Take what I say, saying the older video that I have not done any research on compared to my new videos. Where if I talk about something historical, it's going to be with the time that my series is set. Speaking of which, so Germany ended on May 7th of 45, and then Japan ended, and then, and then China or Japan. Japan, one of those country kept the war going in, in that particular in that particular theater until September second of, of 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 the same year. Which, okay, guys, I think I mentioned it already. I think I mentioned this already. I think I have, but I don't know if it really is important to my story. The rebel... You know what I'm going to be talking about? The Cold War. Guys, I'm going to be talking about the... The Cold War has not... I mean, it was a thing... What? From... In the 50s? These? Let me look at... So, guys, I... I well... Okay. 
So the Soviet Union in Great Britain. Okay, so the Soviet Union and the United States are in a cold war at in my series. I mean, because it started according to Google. Go from from. Let me just show you what I found on Google. Look. This is when it happened, and being how where my series is set, Great Britain, I don't think they were involved at all in the Cold War. War. I don't think they were involved at all in the Cold War, which is why I'm not talked about it. I'm going to talk about it in line of dialogue relating to the USA, hey, which will almost be never. If the, I'm not mentioning the country that I'm at in, rather than the country that the show is saying. That's something I will do, guys. I will not mention in America or in my regular series. I will mention it like in com like if I do have a conversation with Thomas Miss and Percy, I might mention that I heard I heard that the president is doing something against against the Cold War. Whatever the heck that is. Does it have something to do with the temperature? Anyway, after the Cold War it was just, it was, it was a period of, well, something I forgot to mention, guys, and about stuff that had to change laws to exist in my universe. I don't know how bad, how, stuff, stuff that changed laws is definitely in my universe. Therefore, the sinking of the RMS Titanic Boris of Port is also set in my universe. Thomas and Percy's at least stories of Port is at least set in my universe, too. And it's set in between 1920. It's set like a year or two after the events of Tut. Like it's set a year or two after the events of Tut. I might make a timeline for for that when I'm done with Thor's report. With Grim... Anyway. 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 The Titanic did cause a lot of people to lose their life when the ship went down on April 4th, April 15th, 1912, 11. And it broke exactly how it did in real life. The game I was using... Guys, if I could remake that story, I would have it be on SOS type. I would have it be on SOS instead of... I would have it be on SOS. That's because I know more about the Titanic than what's about to come up next. I know more about the Titan disaster than, than about 9-11. I do... Okay, to be honest, guys, I know the bare minimum when it comes to 9-11. You might be saying, not pun. If you're an American, shouldn't you know more about 9-11 than you do? Not, you might be saying, not pun. You might be weird. You might be saying, not pun. You know, yeah, guys, I don't know much. Only what interests me. I don't know where my fascination with the Titanic came from. And that hate, and I, and I hate it because I know a lot about the Titanic, but I don't know what happened on our own freaking soil. To be said, I know about the attack, the attack on Pearl Harbor from from World War II, and that was all that was all Japan, which led us to join the war against against Germany too. Too, I don't know a thing about what happened. I don't know about. The events of September 11, 2001. Guys, as I've only never stayed before, I was born in 2007. I, as I was, I was only born way after 9-11 happened. And so, and my parents, and my parents, I have never once told anyone, I don't know, I think I've told people that I'm more... I know more about the Titanic 
can I ever rule about 9-11? To be said, I know some... I've been... I'm, because I'm an American, I should be watching 9-11. There are some documentaries about, about 2001. One that we really want. Okay. Here's what I know about that. I know the bare minimum. I know that two airplanes... Two planes or something crashed into the... Twin Towers or something in New York City. Maybe the, the Titanic. I know that the Twin... That's it. I know that two airplanes or something... I know... I know... I know that that... That, that had to ch that film movies and a few TV shows had to be chained. A few films had to be chained. A few wait, isn't film? Wait, guys, I just realized something. Isn't film just another word meaning movie? That's pretty weird that they would call it something else. That's pretty weird, guys. I just noticed something while while, while thinking about. The audio I'm making for this video. Like, I just noticed something pretty weird. The weird thing is, I just noticed this. That, I just noticed something. The thing I just noticed is that film, isn't film and movie kind of the same word? Isn't film and movie just kind of the same word? If you think about it, they are. Which, I'm going to use, to use the word movie from now on, instead of film. Anyway. Anyway, where was I? What? Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. I don't know who attacked. I think it was some terrorists from I don't know where. Iran something, and I don't know much about the attack. I know more about Titanic and, and Pearl Harbor than I do about about 9-11. But anyway. Like I heard that Monster Inc. had to be chained. 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 That Monster Inc. had to be chained. An episode of Justice League had to be chained. Freaking the entirety of the Zeta project was cancelled because because of 9-11. That's all I really know about September 11, 2001. This is all I know about September 11, 2001. One. But guys, let's go on to something I know. Like, okay. Let's go, let me wind the clock back back in time to 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 nineteen fifteen. There the RMF the HMF Britannic sorry. I normally call it when I'm talking about the Titanic I use the real name. The RMF Titan. So anyway, the HMF Britannic the decommission. Yes, in this universe, she did not sing. Retcon, she did not sing. Sing. Until our final voyage. The only one of the Olympic... All, all the Olympic class of ocean liners are now rats. You might be saying, not pawn. That's kind of sad. But no. The, the Olympic... No, most of the Olympic class ocean liners, besides the Titan, the Britain and Olympic sailed for hundreds of years. Before, 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 before they were, before they all sank. Like the Britain lasted like ten, of, like unreliable. Instead, of, wait, let me look up when the Brit. Let me look up when uh, the Olympic was scrapped and be right back. Okay, so in in 1935, the Olympic and Britain were both there in service. But the white, but the the, the white star, the white Kunar line, line, 
the white Kunarmoin, like, they both had their last final voyages to New York City and back. No, that, but then guess what? The Olymp, but the Britannic, the Alley Project chart new course off the coast of the Aegean Sea. Where, where somehow an old mine from World War One somehow the Britain fucking old mine that was somehow left there. I know that that doesn't seem realistic, but come to think of it, come to think of it, I don't think I don't think I don't think that the navy that the navy that the navy that the navy of the country. We would retrieve their mind, so there may be some evidence for that that the, that the mind is the bridge hand rock in real life. Mine never, it, anyway, the mind detonated in the same amount of time it took her in real life, it, the same amount of time it took all of the Olympic, and then guess what? The, okay, for the Olympic, here's where the tricky part Here's the tricky part. It's been a week since the sinking of the brick hand. It's been a sink. It's been a week. She, I'm gonna use the real date of when she took the mine in real life. So be right back. Okay, so it's been a week. Okay, so after looking it up online, after looking it up online, it struck the mine on on February 26th, 1935. And then two weeks later, after an oil fire on board the the, the, the Olympic, she sank. Both took two hours, the same amount of time that the Titanic took. Of course, the Britannic sank in warm waters. Of course, both and not only both ships sank in the middle of the day. Come think of it. Come think of it. Come to think of it, come to think of it, and being how now the laws have changed, changed for any time a ship sends out an SOS, a lot of sh- so many people were wrecking when the Britain and Olympic sank, but but the Olympic sank not that far away from Titanic. She was too. Mo- she was the Brit the. The Olympic was at like not that far away, like two more miles. From, she was, she was about two more miles then. Okay, so the Navy submarines in between, like okay, imagine this: the Navy submarines that the that they were using during the Cold War. One of them was at like near the wreck of the Britannic. One of them one no, did I say wreck of the Britannic? I meant the wreck of the Olympic. Okay, so the Olympic was at like two miles away from from where from the wreck of of the Titan. And um okay, so the first off they found in nineteen sometime in the nineteen sixties they found the 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 Olympic just like the Titanic sitting sitting on the on the seafloor. On the seafloor, and okay, so but and then they found and then it was at least some guy named named I don't know. Let's just say, let me look up how old Stephen. So, in 1958, the wreck of the Olympic was found two miles away from now. No, from where. Sorry, the Olympic sank two miles away from Titanic. Yeah. Sank two miles away from where Titanic sank. So when, so when Robert, so when, you know, I'm gonna use the guy that found the Titanic. So when Robert Ballard and Jacques Stowe, Jacques Stowe found the wreck of the Britannic, and yet, she, unlike what happened in real life, she. Okay, 
instead of hitting a rock, instead of hitting mine, yeah, 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 she rolled on to the side. So the Britannic, tank, tank got like wore the colors of the, of the Olympic Park. Class of Russian But then again, it will, but then again, those ships, so the pipes, so yeah, but yeah, the Olympics didn't really break because, because Robert, because the Olympic could have break, but the, the designers at Harlem Wolf could put the, anyway, anything that happened to the Olympic in Brit, anything that happened to the Olympic after Titanic, happen in this universe, like, like, no one wanted the board up. I think... Okay, so, anyway. Wait, wait, wait. But, being how they were completely under separate captain, anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. As for TV shows, a few shows like Batman Human series and the, like the entirety of the DCU went and like okay let me tell you as the story of how how of how of how the the Olympic looked out. Randomly. Robert Bowler, a young Robert Bowler, was actually looking for Titan. Was actually looking for the Titan. And based on how you know Titan gave the one coordinates who most was thinking and well and well boss hall so that sh and that other sh fun stuff. Nope, they just didn't have enough but however the Britain however both the Olympic and Britain gave them the right point. So Robert Bell was able to find so Jock still found the you see what the story behind why Jacques Cousteau was even in the Mediterranean in the first place to look in the, off the coast of the Aegean Sea is a really funny story. You see, people found it, hired him to find to find the lost city of Atlantis, and instead they found they found the wreck of the Britannic. <laughs> 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 But the story of how Robert Ballard, the same guy that found the wreck of the Titanic, found the wreck of the Olympic, is actually not that fascinating at all. Oh. Oh. He, he, he's the famous ocean biographer, Robert Ballard, when he came back then, and he wanted to find both the Olympic and Titanic. However, the Navy... Okay. It was only part of the same expedition that Robert Ballard found both the Olympic and the Titanic both on the same day. He had more than enough time to look for these two vessels. So, in this universe, and yet, yeah, James Cameron made docu three documentaries all about the Olympic cause of ocean Man. Of course, the, the most viewed one is about the Titanic, because that ship is proud of mystery, unlike a reliable and Second overall. Oh. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So besides the big stuff like World War One, two, two, not that much event happened. Happened until Thursday. Well, then I'm not talking. Feel like fun.